on the same pace Show me in the same light, feels right What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel This is a video dedicated to my hair So this unit I have had for a long Well I'm not going to say this I had this unit for about a year now To be quite honest with you I bought this for my sister's wedding And I was wearing it off and on throughout the summer Now my cousin did cut this now this was originally 18 inches yeah 18 inches but when i bought it it didn't look 18 inches to me but it's totally fine because i wanted a bob anyway so he cut it into the bob that i wanted now i will have him cut it some more and do some coloring because you are able to color this hair this is human hair i cannot remember the name of this hair but i will also place it in the description box below now when, before i wash this hair if you can see in the pictures the thing looked damaged and i have yet to put this in my head or wash it or do anything to it in about, I want to say about a good six months. So, in this video, I will show you guys my shampoo, conditioning, blow drying, and flat ironing routine. And of course, at the end, you will see, or probably at the beginning and the end of this video, you've already seen my hair itself. So, I showed you exactly what it looked like before, and this is just the after product. It's a lot more flowy now. It's lighter. It doesn't feel dirty. And it smells so good. Oh, thank God. It smells amazing because, y'all... The, it, it looked horrible, but it smells so freaking bad. And I was like, ah, I'm not gonna do this. I just took my crochet braids out, and I wasn't really too sure what to do to my hair. And I kind of did something wrong. I, I'll tell you guys about it when I do my video for how to install my crochet base braids, because I will also do a video on that to help you guys get an idea of how to do it or how I do it. I have to wear my hair covered for a little while, but once again, I will explain all of that and the reason why hmm, in my next video. I can run my fingers through my hair, and it got some body. Don't you know you got a body, yaddy, yaddy, yeah. I'm sorry, because this wind is like really blowing, and it's really irritating me, but Why is my lipstick? 
I hope that this detailed video was very informative for you guys. And of course, if you guys are not already subscribers, I don't know what you're doing. Look at you should go ahead and click that subscribe button. I will have it probably placed right here. And I will also place another video dedicated to something that is more similar to this, aka a hair review. Especially on hair that I've tried and that I would love for you guys to try out. And please let me know if you guys have already tried it because that link will be right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, God is love, so love, love. All right, you guys, so let's talk about how raggedy this hair is. Look at this nasty thing. It is just matted and gooky. The edges all jacked up. Ooh, just look at the edges. Do you see this foolishness? Oh, sorry. So we're going to start off with some lukewarm water, and we're just going to rinse this down first. We got to get it wet before we get it started. So I'm just going to wet my hair in a downward motion, and then we're going to go from there. Unfortunately, you guys, I kind of lost my footage for my shampoo, but my conditioner is the same exact procedure. So we're going to start off with fresh, clean hair. Now, once again, this is my conditioner that I'm using. This is the Equate Moisture Rich Conditioning Salon conditioner and you guys look at this doesn't this look like a brownie <laughs> wonderful i'm just going to massage this into my hair and i'm going to massage it in a downward motion we do not want to lather because once you lather it creates tangles in the hair and that's not what we want to deal with we want to make sure that everything is smooth to down from the rooter to the tutor no, we're just going from the roots to the ends. And I'm just going to comb this out. Now, this is sped up. This did take me quite some time because you guys, when I say I have not touched this hair in a long time, I have not touched this hair in a long time. So it took me some time to comb out all the knots and the tangles. But with the conditioner, it was so much easier and after I washed it. So look at the edges now. The edges are coming back to its natural state. We are not having any issues. My Denman brush, because that's what I'm using, my Denman brush is just flowing right through this thing like water. And it looks so shiny and silky and I'm just going to comb it out some more. Now, if there is some hair that comes out, it is okay. It's all right for this thing to shed. Now, we're just going to rinse out this conditioner and I'm just going to rinse it once again in a downward motion. And once I finish rinsing this out, I'm just going to comb it through one more time and rinse it one more time afterwards to make sure that I'm getting out all of that conditioner out of that hair. Now, once we finish doing all of this, we're just going to take it out and we're going to be using, oh, just get, look at the nasty hair. Rest of it out. Get it out. Get out. Get out. So we're just going to be using a, actually we're going to be using a shirt today. We're not using a towel, we're using a shirt. And look at it, it's just all shiny and clean and fresh. And oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. And I mean really good. We're just going to make sure that we're soaking out all that extra moisture. Now we're going to go to the, blow drying face now i just placed my hair on my styrofoam head and i'm just going to be using medium low air on my blow dryer and this brush paddle brush and i'm just going to blow dry basically blow dry my hair the same way that you would blow dry your normal hair is the same exact way that i'm blow drying this hair now this head the styrofoam head i actually have a harness set where i sit my styrofoam head on obviously that you can see I finished one side already so I'm just showing you guys how I finished it it did take me some time I'm not gonna lie this blow drying process took a long time but I did go section by section I kind of got bored and started blow drying the entire thing until I was completely finished and this is the end result after I finished blow drying it everything smells so good everything seems so fresh and just look at the flow the flowage is real check my flow yo my hair is the yo i don't even know what that means scratch that i could not be a rapper so i'm just going to section my hair off and i'm just going to be taking one portion and a rubber band and then i'm also going to be taking the other half in a clip and then i'm also going to take another half to place in another clip because we want to make sure that we're working with section by section when dealing and flat ironing this hair. So it is flat iron season. And I'm just going to be taking my Remington flat iron and placing it on 350 degrees. And I'm just going to take section by section and I'm just going medium, not necessarily medium, but small to medium sections. And I'm just going to flat iron my hair. Now I repeat the same step all over my head. I'm going to actually skip a whole bunch of this because this is more so repetitive. 
Um, you already know how to flat on your hair. This is already halfway through. Obviously, you can see the flowage. Now, I didn't, when I flat iron the hair, I don't really necessarily go for a full bump. I just want it to be flat iron because I like that natural flat iron look. I just want it to look clean, just like this. And so this is just the finished product. Very simple, very easy. It's one, two, three steps and you're ready to walk out the door looking like it is just your hair. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember, God is love, so love, love. Hope this helps. Can't do a